quick. Hey, this is Graham and welcome back to another car review. Today, we are driving the Scion FRS. This car specifically is a 2013 Scion FRS. It has the two liter four cylinder boxer engine. It's rear wheel drive. It has an automatic transmission. What Toyota has done is taken the Mazda Miata mentality. They've taken a small car, made it lightweight, given it just enough power to make it fun and put it on sale for a very reasonable price. Good Lord, it handles well. <laughs> for having such skinny little tires on this car, it will go around a corner very well. Oh my goodness, this is fun. So let's go over the technical aspects first, just kind of get that stuff out of the way. It's a two liter four cylinder boxer, rear wheel drive, limited slip differential, connected to a six speed automatic transmission. So while it's not, so while it's not say preferred to get an automatic in a car like this, uh, I will say that this automatic transmission is actually a very good one. Uh, I had heard, I had read that it wasn't, that it was uh, kind of slow on the draw, which, you know, when you press the paddle to the time that it shifts, yes, it's not, it is not a little gap. It's, it's a pretty significant amount of time between the press of the paddle and the actual shift, but the actual shift is very, very quick and it's very solid and it feels good. It, it really makes this car feel sporty regardless of the fact that it doesn't have a manual transmission. So what makes the FRS special? Well, it's the fact that it is a modern, lightweight, rear-wheel drive coupe that is specifically built for having fun. Toyota had no intention of making this car a comfortable, luxurious, Thing. They knew exactly what their market was. They knew that it was going to be enthusiasts and nobody else. And that is exactly how they've built this car. It's firm suspension. It's not uncomfortable. It feels, it actually feels very comfortable just driving down the road. Um, but it's firm. It gives this car the handling that it really needs. Uh, they've also put a Subaru engine in it rather than some standard Toyota four cylinder. They put the boxer engine, the two liter boxer, that makes 200 horsepower. And on a car that weighs only 2,800 pounds, that is more than enough power. Uh, honestly, I'd say that it is, or it at least feels just as fast as my V6 Mustang. But it is a very fun car and it's fast. It's surprisingly fast for having uh, only 200 horsepower under the hood. This engine's also very rev happy. It revs out to 7,500 RPM before it hits redline, which is just immense. I think the one downside to this car, while it's not an expensive car, it's not necessarily inexpensive. For this car with an automatic transmission, new, it will run you just around twenty-five to $30,000, depending on the options, which I need to say there are not many options that you can get. Um, but while that is not a low price because it's an import and it has all the import taxes on it that bring the price up, um, it's also, you know, relatively inexpensive, I would say, you know, compared to other cars with similar, similar performance and power and fun factor. Honestly, there's not much else out there that you can get that will be this fun for this little money. This car is completely stock, by the way, it has no modifications whatsoever. Uh, and it sounds great. The exhaust note is awesome. Most of it comes from up front. Most of it's the engine noise. But because it's a four cylinder boxer, it gives it a great little growl. All right, let's throw it around a little bit. Gently throw it around a little bit. This isn't my car. Put it through its paces a little bit, shall we? The steering is tight and very, very direct. 
This is a nice car, man. This thing's fun. God, and then you can really feel the road. You can feel everything. It's very communicative. The steering's sharp. It's not too heavy, not too loose. The handling is amazing. God, this is a fun car. Because it's so lightweight, it's so easy just to dive into a corner and, and it sticks. No matter how skinny the little back tires are, it sticks. It doesn't feel like it wants to break loose. It doesn't feel like it's gonna throw you off of the road or you know, you're not, you're not gonna get snap back oversteer or anything. It's no understeer, no oversteer. It's planted. God, this car feels good. It feels really good. There's just no, bo there's no body roll when it goes through a corner. It feels so firm, planted. This is what you want from a sports car. This is what you want. This car is what you want. This puts many other cars to shame. I cannot believe how good this car is just the way that it is from the factory. This thing is superb. You know, I came into this review expecting to be slightly disappointed. You know, I didn't, I figured 200 horsepower, four cylinder, but now I understand what it's all about. Now I understand why people like this car so much. Sure, it's not fast off the line. It's definitely not fast off the line, but through a, uh, it has the torque band that you need when you're actually throwing it around. Straight line speed is not this car's strong point, but corners, this car will go through a corner. I cannot believe how good this thing feels. So technical aspects aside, this car's a joy to drive. I am absolutely loving this. I understand what the big deal is now. I understand why people like this car so much. It's not about the power. It's not about the speed. It's about the way that it feels. It's about the sensation that it gives you. This is a driver's car. There is no doubt about it. Even without a manual transmission, which you know, Personally, I'd have a manual in a car like this, but I'm not gonna rag on this automatic because it is actually a very good one. It's, the paddles feel good, the shifts feel good. Sure, there's a decent gap of time between the press of the button and the time that it shifts, but the shifts feel so good, they feel so solid. They're so quick. It really makes this car feel nice and agile and ready to rock and roll. And this car doesn't feel big either. I like that a lot about this. This car has great visibility. It feels small. It feels as lightweight as it actually is. It's stripped down. There's no, there's, it, it's, it's what you need and nothing more. It's got a decent stereo system. It's, a, it's just a standard Pioneer radio system. You know, it's nothing special. It's got three dials for the AC, one to control the temperature, one to control how hard it blows, and one to control where it's blowing on the car, like defrost and such as that. The seats are perfect. They're extremely, they feel like racing seats. There is no reason at all that you would ever need to change these things. They feel so good. The car feels so good. This is a nice car. This is a very fun car. And just driving, it's so civilized. It's only, it's only as fun as it needs to be. Like you can feel that it wants to get up and go, but it doesn't beg you for it. It just sits patiently waiting, waiting for you to press the gas pedal to the floor, which I'm not doing by the way. I'm being gentle. I like the paddles though. These paddles feel good. They're big, they're metal, they're beefy. They're very sporty. They're what you want in a sports car. If you're gonna get an automatic in this car, it's not a bad one. It's not a bad way to go. Uh, I, 
Again, I recommend the manual, of course, because it is that kind of car. But if you don't know how to drive manual, um, or you just don't want a manual, the automatic in this car is a good one. I, I, I will stand up for it. I like it. It feels good to me. So do not be, do not hesitate to get the automatic if that's what you want, because it is a nice one. It feels good. When people say that this car feels like a go-kart, it actually does. This is one of, this is, you know, I've never driven a car like this before. I've never driven, say, a Mazda Miata or anything like that. I've never driven the competitors, but I've driven this car now and it feels so good. I'm not sure that I'll ever be able to go back to another car after this. Regular cars are just so boring. This is the car that you need. These are the kind of cars that you need in your life. Sports cars. Cars built specifically for the enthusiasts, by the enthusiasts. This thing's perfect. This car is superb.